What's up guys, Dustin Vaughn Warnke back here with another tech tip video for you for the October issue of Texas Fishing Game Magazine. And out here in the great outdoors in my backyard archery range and uh, just having some fun in the great outdoors. So what I brought along today is two crossbows and then my broadheads and uh, uh, Illuminox and um, arrows and everything and I'll show you all that in a minute. But basically we're going to talk about what to look, look for and choosing your next crossbow or choosing a crossbow for bow hunting in the October month is when we start bow season here in Texas. As well as um, you know year round when you're going for hogs or exotics or anything like that. This is a Whitetail Hunter Pro and it is one of the newer Barnett crossbows that I own. It is a really really nice um, compound crossbow and um, it's very affordable uh, and compared to a lot of other crossbows it really has a lot of features packed into one which is really cool. It's got a Picatinny rail you can put your quiver on down here. Um, you've just got a lot of different things. So the two different types of crossbows are recurve and compound for the most part and um, your compounds are going to be lower cost, they're going to be a little bit faster in some cases and they're going to be a little bit tighter as far as the width of the cams because uh, recurve's got long cams because it's got a uh, uh, it works off for recurve, recurve limbs, and this works off of compound split limbs or compound limbs uh, without them being split uh, on older crossbows. And basically, that's the main difference between the two of those uh, is recurve or cross or uh, compound. Now, the thing is, that all being said, compound crossbows do have their drawbacks in certain things, like a recurve, like Excalibur's. Uh, you know, any of Excalibur's crossbows, you can throw down and you can run over and you can do all kinds of different stuff. They've done the Destruction Challenge and the Destruction Challenge 2.0 on Excalibur's website and uh, they've got some really really cool crossbows that basically have been run over and dropped and fed to an alligator and all kinds of other stuff. They're very very durable. The thing is they're a little bit more expensive and you're going to pay a little bit more for them because they are a premium recurve crossbow and they're built to last the ages. Well, if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, the compound bow is nice and like I say it's, it's a little bit tighter package a little bit smaller package and um, as far as the width goes the limb to limb goes and um, yeah there's a lot of new features and everything like that that things like this bar barnet crossbow have that a lot of the crossbows don't so like I said um, really really cool here and I've got my scope coat on here I love my scope coats for all my crossbow scopes and rifle scopes and uh, you know this is a really nice adult uh, full feature crossbow to consider. Now of course they come out with a whole lot of new ones this year and everything. This one's a couple years old but I really really like it. Now the other one I'm going to pull up here in just a second. This is a reverse limb compound crossbow and uh, it's another Barnett. It is a Raptor Reverse. I don't even know if they make this one anymore but basically they do make reverse limb crossbows. This particular model I think is out of is out of production but uh, it's really cool because the limbs are reversed and you can kind of see that it's different from a compound because uh, it, the nice thing about the reverse limb is basically you have a smaller package so when you cock this end to end it's about nine inches instead of being you know over a foot in, in a lot of cases uh, with your with your traditional compound crossbows and um, you know this is a perfect crossbow for a kid and the length of pull you can see compared to the other one the adult crossbow that I have um, is uh, is a lot shorter, a lot smaller for a little bit, you know, smaller body. Now I can still shoot this, but basically my son Jackson, who hunted with an axis or hunted for an axis with the crossbow last year, sorry, I'm a little tongue tied. Um, he had a lot of fun using this. In fact, I've got the, a little flashlight on the rail. It's a green flashlight. Let me turn it on here real quick. It's a green hunting flashlight that I've got here on the bottom rail, and um, really cool overall crossbow. So one of the things you need to look at is length of pull. Uh, just like you would a rifle, you know, is this going to grow with the shooter? Is this going to uh, be big enough for the shooter, small enough for the shooter? My son still has to shoot kind of like this because his little arms aren't that long, but um, he really does well with this. And I have a scope cut on this one as well, and then a custom optic on both of these. And um, anyway, just a really, really cool full feature crossbow uh, for compound. And like I said, you've got your recurve, and those are the choices you want to make if you want one for the long, long haul. And never want to buy a crossbow again. You can certainly be buy can you know, buy a recurve and, and keep it. But most people like to upgrade their equipment, and that's certainly the nice thing about a compound bow is they're affordable enough where you can buy one every few years or a couple of years or every year if you want to, and uh, trade the trade in your old one or sell your old one on eBay or Craigslist, and uh, basically go from there and kind of get the fastest, coolest, neatest things. Now the Whitetail Hunter Pro that I had back there that I just put down runs about 400, 390 to 400 feet per second. This one runs a little bit slower than that, but it's kind of a kid's crossbow anyway when it comes to uh, its power and everything like that because it's a reverse limb. 
Um, it, and it's shorter length of pull, so it's perfect for kids. Not to say an adult couldn't shoot it or a woman couldn't shoot it or anything like that. You definitely have some options. So let's talk about gear real quick. I brought along my arrows that I use for crossbow. Now I've talked about crossbows a while on this channel as well as on uh, uh, fishgame.com and you guys all know that I'm a, uh, one of the shooters on the gold, gold tip shoot, uh, co-op staff and uh, basically have the, uh, the gold tip ballistic 425 bolts here and uh, basically have those and then I've got Grim Reaper broadheads, inch and a half, cut radius, three blade, mechanical, incredible incredible broadhead and um, basically that, that shoots um, very well accurate like a field point three blades got a um, got a 125 grain uh, weight to it and basically really really high quality and then I've got luminox on the back and I don't have this lit up because it's not during the day but these light up red and uh, you can kind of see the, the the way it's got the light and the and the tail of it or uh, in the end of the arrow and the knock and basically when you shoot that triggers the light to come on so you can watch the flight of your arrow. It's really cool. So uh, those are just a couple of things to think about. Also, always, always, always use a good rest. I use several different types of rest. Uh, my most favorite one, I didn't bring it out here, but it's a, um, a tripod or a bipod or a, and Bog makes a lot of really good ones. That's one thing that I've really liked about the Bog bipod. In fact, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm going to go get that. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get my Bog bipod. That's it. <laughs> All right, I'm back. I've got the Bog Bipod. Uh, this is just a simple uh, bipod. It's really nice. It's called the Camelega Devil. I'm not sure if they manufacture these anymore, but the new one that I used over the weekend with my son when we were axis hunting was the, uh, this is the Camelega Devil. The other one was the Death Grip, and then they also make the Field Pod Max and the Field Pod Magnum uh, that I've done videos on this channel as well for. And basically, they're just a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, way you can leave your gun um, stationary and then mount up on it. It's great for kids and stuff shooting their first deer or shooting their first, you know, coyote or turkey or whatever. Um, but basically they're a little bit bulky to take along and stuff like that sometimes. But if you're doing a really good stand hunting trip, they're great. And the other one for running and gunning I have is this bipod from Bog. That's the Bog Cam and Lady Devil. Um, and uh, this is a, another one they're coming out with. They have, of course, plenty of... Uh, Bog, of course, has a lot of different hunting bipods for uh, for running and gunning like this or stuff for stationary hunting, like for coyotes, turkey, so on and so forth, uh, like the Field Pod Max and the uh, Field Pod Magnum and the Death Grip, which are a little bit heavier, a little more stable, so on and so forth. But just for running and gunning, um, this has been a great one for my son and myself both to shoot because it's got adjustable legs. It is built for sitting or kneeling. and um, you just spread out those legs and uh, put them together however you want to do it. Use it as a monopod or as a bipod. You've got great stability here, so you've got your bog pod. So, a lot of different options there, guys. Um, I just like to give you guys the best of the outdoors, as I name my podcast, <laughs> that I do for the Texas Vision Game family. And I really like overall just being able to share with you my passion of the outdoors and being able to show you some of the things that I do to be successful and they will help you be successful in the field as well. And I've shot countless deer with a crossbow. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of uh, challenge in a lot of ways because, you know, it depends. also depends on when you're picking a crossbow, what you're shooting and how far you're going to shoot. If you're going to go past, you know, a hundred yards in some cases, which I would not recommend doing with a crossbow, um, but you can do it. Um, yeah, I recommend anything from the Excalibur, you know, all the way up to the Barnett or the, the Center Point or any of these other uh, great archery companies that are out there, Ten Point, and um, and so on and so forth. So there, there are a lot of great crossbows to choose from. I'm just telling you what I shoot personally, and uh, you know, kind of give you my recommendations based off of that. But you want to look at your speed, you want to look at your um, size of your crossbow, the length of pull, so. It's comfortable for the shooter. Uh, you want to look at whether or not you want to invest in the recurve or a compound. They're both great, uh, but you can get a little bit more bang for the buck sometimes with the compound, uh, and that's been my choice. And then, um, you know, got a lot of other options too, to um, accessories and things that you can get for your gun flashlights, or not your gun, your crossbow <laughs> flashlights, and um, uh, lasers and, and bipods like this and that kind of stuff that you can use to help you be a stable shooter and a better shooter at night and other places wherever you are in the outdoors. So, please check out the Best of the Outdoors podcast. It's available at fishgame.com or on your favorite podcast app. And also, thank you guys for watching, reading, and listening. Have an awesome day in the outdoors. We'll see you next time.